Hello world, this is Alex from ThingsBoard. Today we'll learn how to set up the integration between ThingsBoard and OPC UA servers that allows ThingsBoard subscribing to data stream from your devices. Typical cases that I often use in tutorials – smart air conditioning. If you missed that, just take a look on other guide videos or subscribe our channel and stay tuned. These beauties you will have on your screen at the end of this lesson. This dashboard displays the temperature, humidity and power consumption of climate system. By clicking the details button you'll find the on-off switch. Cool, yeah? When you turn off the air conditioner its status changed and this acts on the temperature, humidity and the power consumption values displayed on the dashboard. Ready, steady, go! First we need to get the IP address of PC or laptop. That's easy to do by selecting your network connection properties. We are interested in IPv4 address. Save it to the notepad as endpoint host. Next step – OPC UA C++ demo server. Notice that you can download it only after registration on the foundation website. I'm going to use 32-bit version for Windows. Download Extract files Then double-click to start the installation. Once the server is installed, open the UA Server Administration dialog. We'll copy-paste the required properties of our new server from the notepad. Replace the weird PC host name with the endpoint host IP address and click Apply. In order to apply the change, we also need to start or restart the server. Our server is using correct parameters and we can proceed to the ThingsBoard configuration. Step 2 is creating an uplink converter responsible to decoding OPC UA tags and values to ThingsBoard format. Converters have a debug mode. There are input and output parameters in action available there, just in case. I copy-paste simple decoder function now. You can find link to this function in the video description. I kindly put all supportive materials there. Use them. The same way we create the downlink converter. It encodes commands from things board widgets to the OPC UA tags and values. Pay attention, I change the type of converter to downlink. Simple decoder function. Paste in the code here. Now let's jump to the integrations panel and create OPC UA integration. Select the data converters from previous steps. Input a host name. Copy paste as we did before. Pay attention on port of our integration needs 48010. 
please make sure you are using the server that can be reached by Thingsboard server. For example, if you use local Thingsboard Professional Edition installation and local or external OPC UA server, it's okay. However, if you are using Thingsboard Professional Edition demo server and your internal OPC UA server, the Thingsboard server nodes may not be able to connect to OPC UA server. In this case, your OPC UA server should have either public IP address or port forwarding enabled by your system administrator. I'm changing the security type to known, but you should use the specific security type that is supported by your server. Now let's add the mapping elements. This is the most specific part of OPC UA integration. This pattern allows us to use a subtree of tags that belong to a specific device. Our pattern matches all air conditioners, where the last element of the node path is an internal ID of the air conditioner. There are two mapping types supported, either using the fully qualified name or using the OPC UA node ID. I use FQN in this case. I copy-paste it from the notepad. Remind you that you can find mapping type pattern in description. Add subscription tags. These are child nodes to the parent device node. Quickly type 4 tags. State, temperature, humidity, power consumption. We've added the integration and now it's time to add some rule nodes to your future dashboards. Import the demo rule chain. You know where to find JSON file. This rule chain checks whether incoming message belongs to the air conditioner. If true, it will analyze the message. If the message contains telemetry, device will appear into the air conditioner's group. Save the rule chain. If you are familiar with Thinkboard rule engine, you may guess that the next logical step is to route the incoming message from the root rule chain to our air conditioner's rule chain. Root rule chain is one per tenant and it accepts message from all devices and API calls. We need to forward some of them to air conditioner's rule chain to be proceed correctly. Now we are all set and let's review the results of our work. Import our dashboard. I'm going to use a simple dashboard with two states. First state shows the raw data values from air conditioner simulators and the list of 10 air conditioner devices. The second state shows data for particular device and rounds switch control to enable disable air conditioning. As you can see, the air conditioner is on and both temperature and humidity are within certain thresholds. Let's turn it off. We can immediately see that the power consumption dropped and both temperature and humidity is increasing. If something went wrong, try to go through this tutorial again. Also, do not hesitate, leave your questions in comments. I work on new tutorials. Subscribe this channel and discover new IoT possibilities with ThingsBoard. And do not forget to appreciate our team and our product with forks and stars on GitHub.